Hello and welcome to Killer Ant Reviews. Today we'll be revealing the actually the latest book that I've read, The Shadow of the Ship by Robert Wilfred Franson. Uh, honestly, I the premise did kind of interest me because it's basically like a giant train kind of going between planets, I think. Um, it did have a few pretty interesting characters, uh, but unfortunately that's as far as it, this book goes with actually being good. I actually did not enjoy this at all. Uh, interesting premise. Some really interesting ideas. Like, I get the whole thing. I thought it was, thought it was really, really, really great. But when it came down to the actual writing, no offense to the author, I really don't like to bash authors for their attempts. Sometimes it works with audiences, sometimes it doesn't, and this one just didn't work with me. Um, I just think it's like the the writing, it's one of those things where it's like the writing style just didn't gel with me, pretty much. Uh, it was kind of hard to keep track of the characters, other than like a couple of the characters, like a woman who doesn't seem to be there. Like, uh, there was also like an air cat that I thought was actually probably the most interesting character. Um, there was, there was definitely a lot going on, unfortunately. It just... It just didn't just didn't work for me, which is kind of sad because I thought this book actually had some potential. I mean, it's a it's a it's not the longest book I've read. It's like two hundred something pages, and it's just one of those books that could have been a lot more than it really is, which is kind of sad. Uh, this is definitely going to be a quick review. I don't really have much to talk about this. Um, it's one of those books that, like, you can read over the page, and I don't really remember much about about the pages. Uh, there, but there were some actually good scenes. There was a couple good chapters which I was interested in, such as like their camp being attacked, and one character gets gets killed off, and another one they don't know where he is. You know, it's like two of the two of my favorite characters in the book. Um, what would I give this book? I mean, it's not like the worst book I've ever read, and like I said, I definitely love the premise. I just wish it was a, it was just a bit better. But overall, I give this a three point five, and I kind of hate to do that because I know the guy who the author put his heart and soul into it. It just didn't work for me, unfortunately. So, if the author is somehow is watching this, and no offense, but but like I said, I. I always like it's a good. It was a good, like an interesting book to pick up and read. It just didn't work with me. So three point five. Um, I do I do apologize for the lack of updates. Obviously, I've been actually pretty busy. Um, I know I did this in Marvel Plays, so hopefully I can get more content out. Okay, until next time. This is Killer Ant.